What are you looking for, Doris? When we had to introduce them to each other in person, let's just say it was Game of Thrones. Oh my God, there's like a standoff going on right now. Daisy wanted to be top hog, but she was also a lot smaller than Doris. And Doris just wasn't going to give in. They're incredibly stubborn. If they don't want to do something, then good luck. So it was a very long time until they finally surrendered. My daughter had been volunteering at an animal shelter and we ended up sort of fostering various different crazy animals from there. And then the owner of the shelter happened to tell me, you're not going to believe what we have coming next week. She said it's a teacup or a micro pig. And both my daughter and I are absolutely crazy about pigs. Oh yes, you can go rooting in there. <gasps> How exciting, yay. She was this very scared little thing. I said, well, what are you going to be doing with her then? And they said, well, you know, she'll just stay here at the shelter until we find a home for her. And I said, yeah, maybe I could just take her home with me and we could foster her for a few days. What? So it turned out that by the end of the first day, our little Doris stole our hearts. We realised after doing research, pigs really do like to be around other pigs. So we went on the pig placement network and we found another pig that was looking for a home and that was Daisy. Hello, are you hungry? Are you hungry, honey? Do you want your breakfast? We call her Crazy Daisy because she really is absolutely crazy. So for three days they were looking at each other through the gate. Woo! Come on, pig races! But gradually they got to know each other and they became really good friends. So their routine is they have a bed where they, they sleep together. But then they get up and have breakfast. When it's a hot day, you'll find them in the shade, lying together under a bush. And then at the end of the day, I usually take a walk down to the pond and Doris always comes with me. And then just as Doris and I are about to start coming back from the pond, you'll see Daisy coming down. So she's always the one that's behind. Daisy! 95% of mini pigs or potbelly pigs are given up. And unfortunately, a lot of pigs do end up with very tragic endings. But not Doris and Daisy. <laughs> They're like the ambassadors for how to live a good life. <laughs> so please, I would say to anyone, don't ever buy a pig from a breeder ever.